Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Uh, that may not be wise. Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Uh. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. You coming on to me, Vernon? So I don't go for the older guys. Or guys at all, actually, come to think about it. Um, actually, no, I'm not sorry about Bree, but I guess I better play nice. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. Sounds like he you wanted to dead, too. Part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now... It's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. Why does it make any difference if you're actually a real father that or not? girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is going to wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Yeah, you walk away. Hmm, seriously is serious. I think it might be a smart idea to keep an eye on her from now on. I mean, obviously Ben doesn't exactly do a crack-up job of it, does he? Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks. For everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. It sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Plus, whoever sticks with us seems to die pretty quickly. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. Take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. I 
And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. I wonder what she'd do with luck. I wonder what she'd think if uh, <laughs> I had agreed with Vernon. I don't think she'd think too much of me then. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Timbuktu. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's getting to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Um... I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry. Awkward. <laughs> That's finally he's doing it right. Actually keeping an eye on her. He turns his back for one second, she seems to disappear. No, actually <laughs> actually I'll take that back. It looks like he dozed off. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Clementine? We're about to play hide and seek again. <laughs> Alright, let's begin searching the house again. First call, let's ask the mop. Does the mop know where she went? Clementine? Clementine! She's really not understanding this whole stay close to us thing, is she? Maybe leaving that radio in perfect sight for Clementine wasn't the best idea. Whoa, god damn! <laughs> Curb stomp him! Well, that one was fast moving. <laughs> A lot faster than the rest of them normally are. No. 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 Fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Looks like. <laughs> are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. 
Okay. What do you need from us? Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. But I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. <laughs> Looks like helping Kenny was no need. You know what, Kenny? Go fuck yourself. You gonna let a little girl die because I didn't have your back every damn minute? Maybe you should grow the fuck up. Do whatever you want, asshole. Oh, you're gonna break bad with me now? You might have been looking out for me and my family back when we first teamed up. But ever since then, you've been thinking about yourself more often than your friends. You're on your own now, Lee. What about you, Ben? I don't know. But whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I swear, before this is all over, I'm gonna show you I can do something right. I'll prove it to you. You'll see. Come on, guys, let's go. Looks like I've got myself a little team. Minus Kenny, because it looks like me trying to be good with him. Didn't quite work out in my favour in the end, so... <laughs> At least I got to tell him what's what. Unless they're hiding like on the morgue drawers. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Under that logic, I'm sure he'll pretty just stay hidden. <sighs> Looks like that bite's starting to take effect sooner rather than later. Okay, this ain't time for a power nap now, Lee. <laughs> Up and at him. I think things just got a little busy out there. Looks like those walkers from the train just caught up. They weren't the words I chose. <laughs> and that's game, folks. What happened to the next time on Walking Dead? That's a bit anticlimactic. 
But anyway, let's go through the stats. Right, you and 25% of the players did not kill him. Really? That one actually shocks me. I thought most people would make Kenny do it, you know, reconcile and make him go over it and all that sort of jazz. But only me and 25% of people did. That's crazy. Uh, Hippo... Uh, Hippocratic Oath. Did you lie to or threaten Vernon? You and 66% of players were rational and honest. Oh, well, that's not as surprising, I guess. But uh, Home Alone. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? You and 74% of the players brought her. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. I think a lot of people obviously just try and keep Clementine sweet. So obviously they're just going to do whatever she wants them to do. Uh, for whom the bell tolls, did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 67% of the players pulled him up. The first time I played this, I actually let him die. I uh, immediately regretted him because the way it was, the way I thought that scene was playing, it made it look like they wanted you to drop him. Cause, like the way the musical calmed down, it kind of went slow mo. He told you he had to. It looked like it was like the right move to do. If you see what I mean, like the game wanted you to do it, but then I did it and straight away regretted it because so <laughs> it it was just your own personal choice. So yeah. Me and 67 brought him up, obviously that kind of makes sense. And did you reveal your bite to the group? 80% of the players showed the bite, and again, that makes sense, because if by the end of the fourth episode you haven't realised that honesty is the best policy in this game, then you uh, you clearly haven't been paying that much attention. But, yeah, anyway, that's the end of episode four. I think, still not as good as episode three. Episode three is definitely my favourite. I think this one had definitely more of a creepy tone to it. Not the same sort of creepiness as episode two did, but more of a... I don't know. I don't know. Just just generally creepy and uh, eerie, I'd say, would be the best word for it, eerie. But yeah, that's the end of episode four. I'm going to call it quits for now. And as always, I'll see you guys in episode five. So I will catch you guys later.